we have here on the Huffington Post, Darlin Weiss, author of The Heavy, does not regret putting her seven-year-old on a diet. When did you start noticing your child had a weight problem? You know, when she was a toddler, I think she was certainly a heavy toddler, but I didn't think it was necessarily something that required intervention or that was uh, threatening to her health. It was not something we were overly concerned about, primarily because her pediatrician always reassured us that this was not something we needed to intervene with or be concerned about until she was six years old. And that was the point at which at her uh, checkup when she was six, the uh, pediatrician advised us that this was something we should give more attention to, certainly. Um, and when our kind of best efforts independently uh, to, to help her over the course of that following year were completely ineffective and in fact you know she she gained a great deal of weight that year we decided the the only way to really help her and and correct this problem with her health was to uh follow a really structured diet plan which is what we did when she turned seven was your child already suffering before you went public with her weight issues she certainly you know that was part of the equation as to whether this was something that we uh, should intervene with and at what time in her life was it appropriate you know in my own life i had been a normal weight kid and then when i was a teenager i actually got heavy and so i was concerned that she would follow in my path and sort of have a weight crisis uh, in adolescence or you know and my husband uh, had weight issues in his young adulthood that um, this hope that we had that it would just work itself out that she would grow out of it and we would never have to intervene was something that as the years passed was becoming less and less likely um, she was being teased at school she did all herself fat she did have um, you know an awareness that she looked different we did feel very much that um, addressing this issue was not you know blowing this issue open for her it was already an issue for her and we were just doing our best to help her and in the response, when you first came out with this issue in the Vogue uh, April 2012 issue, and the response, while you did have some supporters, you had people calling you hateful, you had people saying that you were ruining your child's life. Were you surprised? Did you expect this type of backlash? I didn't, and you know, I probably should have, because the, part of the reason I wrote the article and the reason I was interested in writing the book was because this seems like such a straightforward issue that everyone should be on the same side and kind of uh, supporting the effort of helping a child uh, who is struggling with obesity to lose weight. And I had known going through it that that was not the position that, that other people had, that it was considered um, very controversial, my, uh, my whole process, and that people criticized it and judged it. Um, and uh, I was surprised, nonetheless, just at the, the tenor of the response. That while I expected people to discuss various aspects of um, my methods and, and my decision making, the overall kind of wave of uh, hatred uh, and, and sort of vitriolic response was, was something unexpected um, and, and really uh, was something that, that went far beyond anything that I thought related to the actual reality of my situation. People think this is a pretty straightforward issue, and it's not. It's very complicated, and dealing with it is a lot more difficult than conventional wisdom would, would have people believe. And I wanted to be very honest about how difficult I found it as a parent and how difficult my child found it uh, to, to overcome this, uh, the childhood obesity.